here we have the spawning table. So this is where we would get the adult oysters, bring them in, and give them a place to spawn for us so that we can uh, uh, collect the eggs and sperm from the oysters to, to make larval oysters. After we get the larval uh, oysters spawned and we've, we've got fertilized eggs, we'll take those fertilized eggs in a bucket like this. And these are the larval tanks. So we take we fill this with filtered seawater and then we might put something like three million uh, larval oysters into a tank like this. And so they're just gonna swim here uh, they have no predators in here, they have lots of food, and they have lots of oxygen. Once we get those larvae to a point that they're ready to stop swimming, they want to glue on to something, we'll bring them to a tank like this, a setting tank. And we're going to give them something to glue on to. So we'll put them on very fine screens, and the larvae will swim in the water, and they're going to see or taste this sand. This is oyster shell sand. And they're gonna look for something to attach to and they're gonna to attach to that because that tastes like an oyster shell because it is an oyster shell, it's just very small. They're gonna go through metamorphosis and they're gonna stop swimming and they're gonna glue on to this and we're gonna get one oyster per piece of sand. So this is, this is an experiment, but this just shows you if you didn't use oyster, that, that sand that we use, if you had pieces of shell or plates like this, you can see how you get clusters of oysters growing. Um, you, can, you can see lots of, lots and lots of oysters growing on a plate like this. Once they've set onto sand, that microculture, we need to get them someplace where we can get them a lot of food. And the way we do that is we have a tank like this, an upweller tank. We're just pumping in seawater into this tank. And that's bringing in the food that the oysters eat. As it goes through the tank, it has to go through these sieves. And that's where we put our oysters. They live on these sieves. So as the water goes past this sieve, the oysters are all getting to eat the food in the water, and then the food's gone, and then they get to eat again. So these are all single oyster seed, eating all the food that we're pumping by them. After this point, this is the nursery stage. It's at this point that they're going to go out to a farmer. The farmer's going to put them in some type of basket or bag that's going to protect them from predators going to keep them up off the bottom so they don't get buried in the mud and it's going to keep them in a place where they can grow well.